Jesus did not just die so you can get into heaven. He did not just die for your sins to be wiped clean. He did, and it's beautiful. But he died so that a piece of heaven can come into you, so that the garden presence of God can come and live in you, so that you can become a walking temple, bringing the garden, a taste of the garden into the world. So that people, when they see the spirit move, when they see the fire in you, when they see the burning bush you are, they will say, teach us of the hope that is within you. But we have people not even asking about the hope that is within us because we are not shining our light, because we have put him under a basket, because we're afraid of what they may think when we look crazy. Because <laughs> you can't, you kind of look strange when you're a tree on fire. You kind of look strange when you're supposed to go up to a stranger and give them the word that the Lord has put on your heart. You kind of look strange when you walk up to someone and you say, can I pray for you in this or that way? You look strange, but that's when Moses said, what is it about this tree? What if you looking strange is actually what it's all about? What if you looking strange is the very point? What if Satan is telling you, you, you're going to look crazy and strange. Don't do that. But the reason he's telling you that is because he knows that you'll become a burning bush that ignites others to be on fire for God. What if he's telling you that because he's terrified of what will happen when you do it? What if he's telling you to be scared of people because he's terrified of the moment you're not? Who are you actually running after here? Because if this is all for your own gain, you'll be good doing your Bible studies. But you won't be good going to the world with what you have found, with the Messiah, with the first love that you had. Father, I just pray, Lord, for everyone who's listening to this, Lord. I just I just pray, God, that you would come with your Holy Spirit and just come and put a fire on us, Lord. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would come and just change our hearts. I pray you would give us a boldness to 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 get on fire for you. Lord, we are tired of being scared. God, we are tired of being uh, a non threat to the enemy's kingdom. God, we are tired of being passive. We're we're tired of seeing people die without you. And God, I pray, Lord, for everyone who's listening to this, that you would convict them, God. I pray, Lord, you would convict me. God, I pray that you would come and just put a sword in our hearts as deep as you need to put it until we get tired of being passive. God, I pray, Lord, that you would let you would pierce us like you pierce those in Acts 2 of your Holy Spirit. Lord, that piercing in, in Acts 2, I just I just notice this that you know that that piercing and acts to was uh thank you holy spirit guys when 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 israel was pierced in acts 2 by the holy spirit coming into them when they were speaking in tongues right and 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 they were convicted of the fact that they that when Peter said, you crucified Yeshua by your sins, that piercing to the heart was the fire behind the revival of the first century. Like, I think it's time for us to get pierced in our hearts again about the fact that we put him on the cross and stop thinking of ourselves as being these self-righteous, people who know all of this knowledge that makes us somehow better than the other people, because ultimately the sinners of this world put him on the cross and you put him on the cross, too. We're all guilty of that sin. We're all the reason for why he had to die. It's not like I I'm innocent in this or you're innocent in this. And I think when we are realizing that we're all guilty, maybe we will be looking at others on the same level and not as looking down as judgmental Pharisees anymore. And we will be hungry to see them come to the Lord because we have that first love restored back to us of God. You died for me, God, and you died for that person, but they don't know it. I need to tell them about that. Father, I just pray, Lord, Lord, that you would just come and put the fear of God 
upon each and every one of us, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would come and and remind us when we walk among the world, that you would remind us who you are and that you would remind us of the spirit, that Holy Spirit that you have put in us. God, Lord, if you have put a Holy Spirit in us, what does that mean? What does that mean for you, brother or sister? Like if the Holy Spirit of God lives in you and you walk into a room, like, do you walk into that room with that knowing? Wow, he's in me. Wow. he And not a mini miniature version of, of his Holy Spirit, but he like lives in me. Like, what does it mean for those people in that room? And are you going to be willing to allow him to open to, uh, to open those gates of your temple and come out and touch them? That's my question to you. <laughs>